Hello mga kawamat! Sa video lesson na ito, i-discuss natin ang fundamental principle of counting. The fundamental counting principle state that if one event can occur or denoted by n sub 1 ways and a second event can occur in n sub 2 ways and a third event in n sub 3 ways and so on. So de then, these events can occur in n sub 1 times n sub 2 times n sub 3 times and so on ways. Okay, so halimbawa, Sarah Hieronimo is a popular concert. Oh, by the way, class, yung fundamental principle of counting is an, uh, yung diniscuss nating tree diagram. No? Yung tree diagram is isang uh, method yon para makuha natin yung number of possible outcomes, the number of possible ways. So, ganun din yung fundamental principle of counting. Yun nga lang, dito, hindi na tayo mag tree tree uh, mag gagamit ng tree diagram para makuha natin yung possible number of ways or possible number of outcomes. So, in fundamental principle of countings, kukunin natin yung number of events tapos i-multiply lang natin. So, for example, number one, Sarah Heronimo is a popular concert artist. Suppose, she is planning a concert tour in a three cities, Manila, Cebu, and Dabao. In how many ways can she arrange her tour schedule? So, first, okay, meron tayong three events. Okay, so may tatlong uh, city siyang pupuntahan. Okay, so ilan yung possible number of ways no, na pwede niyang i-arrange sa kanyang uh, concert. So, sa first stop niya, sa first stop niya class, ilang cities pa yung hindi niya napupuntahan. Of course, sa first, first stop yun eh, yung unang uh, city na magko-concert siya. So, ilang uh, city pa? Ilang option? Tatlo. So, may, tatlo pa. Okay? Sa first stop. It's either Manila, Cebu, and Dabao. How about in second stop? So, ilang city na lang? So, ilang city na lang ang hindi uh, niya napupuntahan? Yes, dalawa. And sa third stop, since uh, sa third stop, ilang city na lang ang dinapuntahan niya? Isa na lang. Okay. So, ang gagawin lang natin, multiply lang natin ito. So, 3 times 2 times 1 is equal to 6. So, meron siyang 6 uh, ways na i-arrange yung tour schedule niya. Okay. Pwedeng una dyan, Manila, Cebu, Dabao, or pwedeng... Manila, Dabao, Cebu, or at iba pa. So, unlike sa 3 diagram class, gagawa ng 3 diagram, saka ilist na yung mga possible number of ways. Dito, uh, using fundamental principle of counting, so madali na lang kunin kung ilang uh, possible outcomes. Okay? Another example, uh, tossing a coin thrice. Kung naalala nyo, diniscuss natin doon sa tree diagram, uh, ginamit rin natin yung sample na to. Okay. So, so, meron tayong tatlong event, of course. Sa unang toss ng coin natin, ilan yung possible outcome? Dalawa. It's either head or tail. So, ilagay natin dito, 2. Sa pangalang toss ng coin, ilan yung possible outcome? Yes, hindi, hindi magbabago eh, no? Head and tail pa rin. So, therefore, 2 pa rin yung ilagay natin dito. And then, sa pangatlong toss ng, toss ng coin, ilan yung possible outcome? Dalawa pa rin. It's either head or tail. So, therefore, imumultiply lang natin ito. 2 times 2 times 2. So, ibig sabihin, merong 8 possible outcomes. Kapag tinos natin yung coin, Thrice. Another example, a bus has six vacant seats in the last row. If two additional passengers enter the bus, in how many ways can they be seated? Okay, so hindi natin alam kung saan sila uupo dun sa anim na vacant seats. Okay, so sabihin natin, okay, sabihin natin, let's say, Yung unang pasayerong dumating dun sa dalawang additional passengers, okay, ilang seats pa yung bakante? 
anim So, ilalagay natin dito 6. Kasi meron pang 6 vacant seats nung dumating siya. Okay, dumating ngayon yung pangalawa. Okay, yung pangalawang pasahero, no? Doon sa dalawang additional passengers. So, ilang options na lang, o ilang vacant seats na lang yung available since yung una ay nakaupo na. So, meron na lang lima. So, therefore, merong, uh, pag minultiply natin, merong 30 ways na umupo yung dalawang passenger. So, kung hindi natin alam kung anong arrangement. So, pwedeng yung unang pasahero, umupo siya dun sa unang uh, upuan, dun sa anim na vacant seats. And then, yung pangalawang additional na pasahero ay nakaupo sa pangatlong vacant seats. So, pag kukunin natin class, merong 30 ways na makaupo sila doon sa anim na vacant seats. Another example, a clown has four different colors of balloons. If two children will receive one balloon each from the clown, in how many ways can this be done? Okay. So, uh, merong dalawang bata. So, yung dalawang bata makaka-receive ng uh, tig-iisang uh, balloons. Since merong apat na different colors yung balloons, so sa unang bata, ilang kulay pa yung pagpipilian. So, ilang op, uh, merong ilang available colors kapag binigay dun sa unang bata. So, meron pa siyang apat na choices no ng uh, different colors ng balloons. And then, sa pangalawang bata, since may dalawang bata, di ba? Uh, sa pangalawang bata, meron na lang tatlong choices ng uh, balloons. Uh, di, uh, meron na lang tatlong kulay na natitira kasi yung isang kulay ng balloons na ibigay na dun sa unang bata. So, therefore, dito, tatlo na lang. So, tatlo na lang ang ilagay natin. So, ibig sabihin, ilang ways? 12 ways. Kasi 4 times 3 is equal to 12 ways. Another example. In how many ways can the first, second, and third prizes be awarded in a math contest with 15 contestants? Okay. Let's say, i-award ngayon yung first prize. Ilan? Ilan yung contestants na pwede ma... Uh, ilan yung... Uh, contestant na pwedeng makuha yung first prize. Since merong 15 contestants, so 15. Tama? Okay. So, kung ila, kukunin na natin yung second prize, yung nakakuha ng second prize, so, ilang contestant na lang ang natitira? Kasi yung isa, binigay na natin, eh, no? So, nilagay na natin sa first prize. So, ilan na lang? Meron na lang 14. And then, sa pang third prize, meron na lang 13. So, kung kukunin natin, okay, kung kukunin natin yung number of ways, multiply lang natin ito, 15 times 14 times 13. And that is 2,730 ways. Okay, more example. Lucky Chinatown Mall is offering a date night special. Pick one movie from four choices. One restaurant from six choices and either flowers, chocolate, or wine. So, how many possible date, night, options are there? So, this example is from my ninang, no? Kasi grade 10 yung ninang namin at nanay-nanaya namin. So, kinuha ko yung sample na to sa DLL niya. So, shout out sa ninang namin. Okay? So, dito class, meron siyang tatlong events, no? Meron tayong tatlong events. Sa unang event, Meron siyang apat na choices nung movie. Okay, may four choices sa movie. So, ilagay natin four. And then, merong anim na choices ng restaurant. So, six. And then, it uh, either flowers, chocolates, or wine. So, merong tatlo. So, therefore, kapag kukunin natin yung possible date night na merong... Uh, Mer meron, so i-multiply lang natin to So, 4 times 6 times 3, it equals to 72 ways. So, ibig sabihin, merong 72 options na um, merong 72 options na magkaroon ng uh, yun yung possible number ng date night. Okay? 
So, 72 ways. Another example, merong, uh, in 2019, uh, okay, Okay, again, in 2019, automobile license plates display three letters followed two numbers. So, how many such plates are possible? Uh, how many, uh, many such plate numbers are possible if repetitions of letters is not allowed? So, ito, tingnan nyo itong halimbawa na to. So, kung yung tatlong letters daw ay repetition is not allowed. So, therefore, ang ilalagay natin sa una... Ilang letters ba yung meron tayo? 26. So, kung nagamit na natin dito yung isang letter, so sa pangalawa, meron na lang 25. Diba? Na natitira. And then, sa pangatlo, meron na lang 24. And then, wala naman binanggit sa problem na uh, yung digits natin ay hindi pwede maulit. So, therefore, yung dalawa na to, that is 10. Kasi, Meron tayong 10 digits, ba? Start with 0, kasama yung 0. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So, 10. Ganun din sa dulong number. 10 then. So, kung titingnan natin kung ilang possible number of plate, uh, possible plate numbers. Okay? Dito sa 3 letters followed by 2 numbers where uh, letters is not uh, repetition of letters not allowed Merong 1,560,000 ways uh, This is the last example In a family of 5 children In how many different ways Can all 5 children be seated in a row If the girls must sit on the end chairs So tingnan natin class, uh, Let's say Meron tatlong boys at dalawang girls So sabi daw Dapat ang nakaupo daw sa dulo, sa dulo nung sa tigdo dulo ng upuan ay uh, babae. So kung dito, babae nakaupo since meron tayong dalawang babae dito, so ilagay natin 2. At kung babae rin dito, ibig sabihin nito merong dalawang girls, tama? So kung at dito rin ay isa de, ay babae din dapat ang nakaupo. Kung nakaupo na yung isa dito, so dito may isa na lang, tama? And dito, sa tatlong ito, yung tatlong upuan sa gitna, puro lalaki. So, kung nakaupo dito sa una, since may tatlong lalaki, so, dito sa susunod na upuan, since nakaupo na yung isa dito, meron na lang dalawa. At nakaupo na yung dalawa, may isa na lang. So, therefore, ilang, uh, ilang different ways na makaupo yung five children, no? Imumultiply lang natin. So, 2 times 3 times 2 times 1 times 1 and that is 12 ways. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you learned something. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell button para updated kayo for more video tutorial. This is your guide in learning your math lesson, your WOW Math channel.